Hi guys, welcome to my channel, JP Kasitai. So I have a small request before starting the project. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. So let's start the project. First of all, let's start a new project. I'm gonna go with the empty activity next. The name I'm gonna say save score scores because we are going to save scores whenever the user increase or decrease the score after that when the user will exit the game the score must be saved so let's say the name will be save score then the package i'm gonna keep for default language will be java minimum api level will be 19 and then just here below it is uncheck just artifact x so now finish And I'll wait for the gradle to build up. It will take time, it depends on your internet. And also, if you are building offline, it depends on your computer speed. Okay, the so Gradle build has been finished. Indexing, scanning file. Okay. Now, before that, processing anything, let me just change this Android because I will be doing with Prozac, it's more comfortable. SRC. Main. Okay, these are the main files that we are going to work through. This is our Java and this is our XML. <coughs> now, before all, as usual, I'm gonna remove the constraint. Instead of constraint, I'm gonna use, use linear as main layout. And remove this text view because I'm gonna implement new. Remove this line. Okay, just enable the action bar look good in designing more now, everything done now let's go and remove the gradle i mean in a gradle file remove the dependency of constraint layout this one okay now everything is fine sync the project again i'll wait for a while okay it is completed now let's go for the coding part now first of all, let's me go to the XML file. So let's design some object here. First, I'm gonna design buttons. X view to buttons so that I can check. Uh, I can increase the integers, the numbers, and I can reduce at the same time when the user will exit the button or the close the app, the integer or the number will be safe. Let's say first I'm gonna need the text view because i'm going to show the integers so it will be wrap content wrap content now for this i'm going to text uh, name i'm going to put name like show okay i'm going to say show number number show number and then here i need one id so in id i'm gonna say id and then it's inside the id i'm gonna say just tv in a capital letter okay now this has been done the text size is little smaller so i'm gonna increase text size and recall and text size i'm gonna give this 25 i guess it's perfect 25 SP. Okay. everything look good now after that i need two buttons here to decrease and increase the text 
or the number integer so i'm gonna say button, hide wrap content close this one and then one more i need fix text and recall in text i'm gonna say increase increase i n t increase integer or you can say increase score score okay now one id i need for this button i'm gonna say id and recall an id and inside the id plus and i'm gonna call this one increase ID will be increased okay. now one more button I want because for the decreasing purpose this will increase the number next this button I'm just gonna copy and paste but the ID must be different so here I'm gonna say decrease because this button will decrease the score and then here also decrease score decrease score clear now you can see here the text are aligning something like in horizontal but i want in vertically so i'm gonna go in the main linear layout so i'm gonna change orientation and gravity too orientation i want in vertical mode and then the gravity i want in center gravity i want in center it's not okay. it's gravity not the linear curve Okay, now it's in center. Let me change the text size of the button. It will look a little bigger. Text size of the button. I'm gonna say this one also will be in 20 SP. So I'm gonna do the same for the next. Text size will be 20 SP. Okay, now done. Now I want a little for this one margin layout margin top i want layout margin top with 30 dp remember for the margin height and width you need dp and this one also i need little far margin top so let me say this also 30 dp everything looks good okay. everything fine let increase the text size of this little bit 30 let's look good now let's go to the coding part here in java now first we will find the variable of two buttons and one text field let's say private first private text view and the short name for the text view i'm gonna give small letters tv now next private button and then the variable or short name for button i'm gonna say button underscore one this is the first button and then button underscore two this is the second button now everything done okay here it's comma not the everything done now these are the buttons and then text view now uh, one more thing i need to uh, define here that is integer because we are going to increase the in integer whenever the button is clicked okay so i want to say private private integer and then and this integer i'm gonna say score score now let's come to the on create method on create method i'm gonna call uh, initialize the button first and then text view or the text view then the buttons now the text view is tv short and then equal find view by id r dot id dot and the text view it was tv right <coughs> now next is for button btn button one equal find view by id and the id is inside resources r dot id dot and the name first was increase okay. button one was increase now the second one i'm gonna say button two button two equal to find by id r dot id dot 
decrease one is increase and one is decrease because whenever the button one will be clicked the number will be increased and set the text in the text view and whenever the button two is click the number will be decreased and set it in the text view so let's do now we can see that first we have to set up the set on click method for but both the button so let's set for the first one button underscore one then dot set on click listener new view dot new view dot on click listener okay now we have to give open and close pair uh, curly bracket then bring the cursor here you have to implement the method alt enter you will get this enter click this and then here now we got the on click method for button one on click method for button one now even for the second one we have to do the same just go here over here then copy this one copy control c and then press here control v now the button name must be two because i will use this for the second one okay now this one is for the button one click or increase this will be for button second which is decrease okay <clears throat> so what i want exactly whenever the button will be click first here i want that the number will be increased and then that number will be put in the text view see here whenever the button this one is click the number will be increased and then it will put here and whenever this button is click the number will be decrease and put here okay now let's go again to the coding part let's say increase purpose so for the increasing how we can do first define the score take that score variable that i have take the integer and set on click method for the button one let's say first we are going to take the integer so integer was score right s c o r e score whenever the button is click i want that score to be increased by one so i'm gonna say plus plus equal which means increase by one now close this one increase by one enter and then i want that score or the number that have been increased to put in the text view so whenever the user will click here the text will be increased by one and that one will be put here next time when the uh, user will click it will increase again and it will put back here okay now <coughs> let me see what is the short name now the score has been increased here by one whenever the user will click this but i want those text to display in the text view so let's say what is the short name of text view this one is the text view and the short name variable is tv let's say i want to put that one in tv so i'm gonna say tv dot set text okay tv dot set text and then open and close this one and i want to say i want to put the number is score so i'm gonna say empty with the plus with score score okay which means whenever the user will click here in the button one then it will increase the numbers here it will increase by one and then that one will be put in the text view okay so what why i give this one empty this double quotation this is means i'm gonna show only the numbers that increase here okay if i want to show something together with the number then i can add here uh, it it is something like this so that means this it is will be added together with the score number that has been increased so let's remove this one because i'm going to put only the scores so now let's even for the second one we have to do the same but let me just check run the project and what whether it just actually work or not whenever the user will click number one button increase the score must be increased by one every time it click let's say let's run the project okay, i'm running the project
It's almost done. The apps is installing now. Okay. The app has been launched. As I told you, whenever the user will click an increase score, the number will be increased and the number will be set up to the text view. Let's see. One time. Okay. It's increased by one. Next time, if the user will click it, it will increase again by one, which will be two. See, two. Again, three, four, five. See, now I want this. Uh, whenever the user will click here in this decrease button, now nothing happened because I did not set up anything here. So, whenever the user will click in this uh, decrease button, I want that this number will be reduced by one. Okay. So, let's go to the coding again. So, let's say now take again the score. The score, it was the integer. Whenever the user click, I want this time to be minus minus by one now close this one now i have minus the text by one now this time also i'm gonna put this minus text into the text view okay so same thing the variable was tv dot set text now again now open the empty and then together with the plus i'm gonna put the score score now done now let's see let's run the project what happened this time if i will click in decrease let's see what happened when i click on decrease score this time it's completed now let's see when i will increase the text it just increase right whenever i click it increase by one now when now uh, when the user will click here decrease the score it must be decreased by one let's see one two three four five now it's working now everything is works now one thing is messing over here can you see there is four number uh, five here let's say five now what happened when the user will close this app and again the user will open the same apps next time so let's see if the user will open the same apps next time let me just take this first here okay what happened when the user again opened the apps see no more number here it lost let's let me increase again when the score is increased to seven when the user will close the app and then open again the number is no more here so let's save this number into the data so that next time when the user will open that person will find the same number whatever left it in the last preview so let's go to the code coding again so in the first button whenever the user will click I want that this scores this score set in the text view and at the same time this score safe in the data or safe in the share preference okay so we can use this share preference method in order to save the text let's just go over here here below in the first on click method for the first button let's go here and then first i'm gonna say share preference with the help of share preferences i can save this one let's see how share preference share preference and then the short name of the share preference i'm gonna say my score equal to remember my score equal to now get share preference here i have to define the key okay so get share preference here i need string and an integer mode so first i'm gonna define the string just with double quotation and i'm gonna say any string that you want but you remember this one to retrieve whenever the apps is restart so i'm gonna say this one my name j-o-h-n okay or you can give yours now give separated by comma and then here i have to define the context mode so i'm gonna say context context dot mode uh, okay mode and the mode will be private okay mode will be private now close this one okay. close with semicolon now i have defined the share preference it's just like i have created a bag so i will keep all those data whatever increase in this bag just for example okay now let's say and but in order to put in the bag we need editor how we can make editor just simple 
share preference dot editor and the short name of the editor I'm gonna say smallest letter editor now equal to now get the share preference variable this one here okay so we can do this by my score like this now dot edit edit now I have edited I have editor also now with the help of this editor I can put the score so that next time whenever the user will reopen the apps the score will be read can be retrieved easily so now let's uh, take the variable of editor editor dot now I want to put string string value inside or I mean integer not the string I'm gonna put the integer value in this bag okay so I'm gonna say integer I have to define string and then value over here so I'm gonna call the string as score any name or I can say ext extra underscore score then just this one must be double quotation I'm just gonna copy this back double quotation as here okay now give comma here now we have to define or we can put the scores here right now so we can put the score so what was the score the score variable was this one so whatever is this so we will put here okay so i'm gonna say score now i will put the score inside the back whenever the button is clicked clear now after that we have to okay we have to finish up this editor by calling the commit okay commit or apply so i'm gonna say editor editor dot comment okay now this part has been completed now what happened here whenever the user will click this first button first it will increase the score and at the same time it will save display the score here and that score will be safe in this bag with the help of share preference okay now now what happened whenever the user will click this this method will be called but whenever the user will reopen the apps i want this to retrieve an on create method how we can do that one just go over here before the find by define okay after this one these two buttons i'm gonna call it the new method or retrieving or share preference just like share preference and the short name I'm gonna give same only my score my score equal to this I'm gonna retrieve from this okay this dot get share preference okay get share preference now here I have to define the string that I saved that time okay this one this one I have to define here just say first will be under the quotations here I'm gonna say John again my name then give comma and here I have to say mode private context context dot mode private okay now I have retrieve the value whatever i save in share preference on create method whenever user user will reopen the apps the value will be checked from the share preference and those value will be added again to the text view now i can how can i text so now i can say scores is one score as we call to my score take this variable of the share preference here scores is equal to scores my scores and then here you have to get what type of things you have put whether you have put boolean or string so that time i have put the integer not boolean not string i put the integer so i can say my score dot get integer because i put the integer dot get int okay here i have to define what type of integer or what type of scores I have put here so here I can see the short name I have kept what that time I have put this extra score right so I'm gonna call this extra score here 
double quotations extra or I'm just going to copy that one if I'm not make any mistake so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to retrieve it over here Copy. And press. Now I have retrieve and then give zero. Default value is zero. Okay, whenever the app's first time is run, the value of the text that has been saved will be zero always. But when the user open the apps and close again, in that time the value will be changed. Let's say now this I have retrieve here. Now we have to do the same thing. For the button second also whenever the button second is click it will reduce the value but that value here still not will be safe in the back because i did not make any share preference for the second button let's say run the project and check if it's work now i want that whenever the user will click this number will be increased and when the apps is closed the value must be safe let the apps is running You can see I want that whenever the user will increase this when the apps is closed when next time it will relaunch again the value will be, must be there so for that purpose I have retrieved the value here now I want to put this value in my text view whenever the apps is whenever the apps is open okay so I can do this by calling TV I want to put those text dot set text again and then I want to take that score then I'm gonna call it like as before I did empty with plus and then I'm gonna call here this one whatever I create here this one I'm gonna put here okay so I'm gonna say score okay, now done the score has been finished now what happened whenever the apps is created first time when the apps will be launched this it will check first if you did not save anything because whenever we launch the apps first time the apps is empty nothing is safe so that time the value will be default always default so this score will be put in the text but the zero value you don't have anything but next time whenever you will save or increase the value it will save in this one share preference and then that value will be retrieved again here and that value will be put back to the text view now let's run the project and check again if it's work i know the video is a little longer so i'm so sorry for that You know the apps has been run now let's see what happened whenever the user is increased see it's 11 right so let me just close the apps from here let's close the save the value okay let me close all okay now I'll relaunch the app see the value is safe now this time because when it's 11 now let me increase till 15 okay now again close the apps Okay, the app is closed let's open again it's safe the 15 value has been saved now for the second button it won't work now because i did not save the value inside the share preference here in the second button i did not save like this i have to save now what happen if you will click in the second button it is 15 right when i will decrease to 10 this if you will close the app there will be no more 10 it will be 15 only because i did not save the value of this 15 here second button let's try let me just close this app and then reopen again see it was as i said the value will not be changed because i did not save the value that i decrease here let me save here so how can i do this one by share preference again share preference on me share preference okay my share preference my score okay now equal get share preference get share preference inside this one i have to give same thing like whatever i give here name and then context mode private so i'm gonna say double quotation here will be john my name comma and then here i have to give context context and then dot 
dot mod private okay now mod private now done i have created back here so just for example i call this share preference as a back okay so to put something here or database so i call this one as back and then now i have i need one more editor in order to put this value in the back share preference okay i did mistake share preference dot editor i need dot editor then the short name of the editor i'm gonna say editor just in a smallest letter and then just equal get the variable of the share preference here so i'm gonna say my score score and then here i have to put edit because i have edited this now close now done we got the editor here we just create a back okay more private and then this variable i have put here in the editor and then with the help of this editor i'm gonna put those integer here so i'm gonna say editor dot put what you want to put i want to put integer so here i have to define string key and then value so same thing first string key i'm gonna say this one will be the same name must be same i will just copy from here string copy here and then give comma then here i'm gonna put the score whatever is here if it is written anything here just copy this one and then paste here okay now everything done just close with semicolon now i need to be submit or apply okay so editor editor dot you can give comment or you can give dot apply okay and so i'm gonna use comment now done everything has been done control l l to reformat all the text or the code now everything is completed now let's run the project the video is a little longer let's see what happened now if you will click the decrease the app is running okay it is lunch now can you see this 15 is still safe because uh, i have defined this one this one to save the items now let's say if i will decrease one two okay, it, it, i will decrease till 10 now let's close the app if it is safe or not now this time it must be 10 not the 15 because i have defined this one right this one i have defined this one so it in decrease mode it must be 10 now let's see and see it's 10 now it's working guys so only for this today only this guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel